For the Seoul Veterans Day might have been two days ago, but we caught up with a World War II veteran today. It is his 100th birthday. Yeah, 10 News reporter Liz Crawford sat down with this American hero to talk about some of the highlights in his 100 years. Hello. A party 100 years in the making. Cosimo Di Pietro, who goes by Gus, was all smiles at his 100th birthday party in Newport Ritchie. How does it feel to have this big celebration? Oh, I, I love it. I, I, uh, I love people. Di Pietro's daughters and grandchildren were there, along with the Pasco County Sheriff and local politicians. Best wishes for his 100th birthday and congratulate him on reaching this momentous milestone. The honor guard from McDill Air Force Base showed up to present him a special flag to honor him for his service in World War II. I love the fact that we lived in a barracks and everybody in that barracks knew each other so well, your family. Di Pietro was a captain in the Army Air Corps stationed in China. He was in charge of organizing mobile command units. What do you think when people call you a hero? Oh, I, I said, there's nothing like that. That's, that word is uh, misused entirely uh, with a common, ordinary, everyday soldier. Humility from one of the greatest generation. Imagine that. What is the big secret to being this happy and this healthy at 100 years old? Just do the things you like to do Always, always be helpful to others. It's my, my, my prayer at night is that I wake up the next day and I help somebody progress. At least smile. Di Pietro and his wife, who passed away in 2007, had three daughters, Family eight grandchildren, and nine great-grandchildren. Family is the most important thing in my life. Family is your heart. It's the reason you breathe. Isn't that I don't know if I can even huh? say this, but there's nothing ordinary about this guy. Yeah, he's so special. Just smile. <laughs> yeah. Happy 100th birthday. Di Pietro was born, by the way, and raised in New York City. And after the war, he owned record stores in New York before moving to Florida in 1975. Happy birthday.